The American people just spoke loud and clear after Omarosa's attack, and even the Donald didn't see it coming. The 2018 midterm elections are right around the corner, which means the 2020 presidential election isn't far behind. The left is under increasing pressure to create a powerful scandal the media can latch onto. It's the only way they can turn the tide against Republicans and the president. This makes the timing of Omarosa's book release highly suspicious. We are less than four months away from the midterms, and even though the Democrats seem certain they will retake the House and Senate, they seem certain that Hillary would win too. The left doesn't want to take any chances this time. They are panicked and desperate to make something against the president's stick, which would explain why the media are constantly promoting Omarosa and her lies. But if a new poll is any indication, the left's tactics are actually helping Trump's approval rating. Don't you love it when the left's plans backfire? From Rasmussen Reports, the Rasmussen Reports daily presidential tracking poll for Tuesday shows that 57572680OC12 Fe2 EBED 14402FD9844 A61 F78 A42751F92330 BC58 FAF20 BD8821, of likely U.S. voters approve of President Trump's job performance. 49%. 49757268OOC12 FA2 EBED 14402FD9844A61F78 A42751F92330 BC58 FAF20 BD8821, disapprove. The latest figures include 35757268OOC12 FA2 EBED 14402FD9844 A61 F78 A42751F92330 BC58 FAF20 BD8821, who strongly approve of the way the president is performing and 47572680OOC12 FA2 EBED 14402FD9844 A61 F78 A42751F92330 BC58 FAF20 BD 8821, who strongly disapprove. This gives him a presidential approval index rating of minus 5. Even CNN are being forced to report on the president's soaring approval rating. They estimate his support is at 42757268OOC12 FA2 EBED 14402FD9844 A61 F78 A42751F9233 OBC58 FAF20 BD8821. When taking other polls into account, you can almost see the pain in their eyes as they explain the president's success. President Trump's approval rating of 42% outpaces Jimmy Carter's and Bill Clinton's ratings of 39% each in the August of their second year in office, and narrowly tops Ronald Reagan's 41% rating in August of 1982. https slash u uchvhc 7 pictwittercom slash ckf9wqhccz CNN, at CNN, August 14, 2018 It's hilarious to see these smug liberal pundits scratching their heads, trying to figure out why Trump is doing so well despite their best efforts. It seems the American people care more about low unemployment, slash taxes, and the defeat of ISIS than they do about Russia allegations, Stormy Daniels, and Omarosa. To thunk it? But this isn't stopping the left from continuing their campaign of slander against the president. Omarosa's lies about Trump, including the claim that a tape exists of Trump saying the N-word, are being reported on nonstop by the liberal media. It's part of an orchestrated effort to undermine Trump's credibility ahead of the midterms. Some are even speculating that a doctor tape of the president is being made and will be released closer to November. But even if the Democrats keep up this strategy, it's not likely to help them. Rona McDaniel of the RNC believes it's the president's track record that will help Republicans win big in November. It is about results, not resistance. That's what we're focusing on in the midterm. Democrats are only offering resistance. We're talking about results. Do you think Republicans will gain seats in November? Source, Rasmussen reports Let's Block Ads. Why?